Welcome back everyone. Um, in a previous episode on doing the wiring and whatnot, I talked about the ESC and motor braking, how I really like, I like the idea of fast up, shoot fast down, but the problems with that is that it caused excessive heating of the motor. It caused excessive wear on the cage in the motor because there's so much torque going backwards, uh, and it resulted in regenerative breaking back into the power supply destroying all my electrics and potentially the Arduino uh, so I, I I do have a version of software that, that for the Arduino uh, that has the the engine braking disabled and code for the ESCs and I will leave that up and possibly if you're into uh, doing a lot of shooting slash really high temperature environment it might be best to stay with that however I kind of still dislike the concept that it takes so long to wind down uh, now the red light that comes on is the tr trigger pull so when I let that go now that's not what you would call stealthy so that's with the so I've changed the code to enable a sort of a ramp ramp down and that's obviously with the braking disabled and I'll swap it over to the other motor which has the braking enabled Now, you can tell that's non-linear, and I've intentionally made it non-linear. Uh, I've made it go from 100% RPM down to 33% in 2.5 seconds, and then a total time of 4 seconds down to 0, which is non-linear. Uh, my idea behind that is that, really from a noise point of view, we just want to get it down from the high RPM and down to lowish. And then I assumed it would be better for cooling to have kind of a slow ramp down. But I'm not sure if it's actually true or not. Uh, but you guys can play with those settings. That's currently what I, seems to be a good ratio of braking slash heat. And I'm, at the end of this video I will do a little thing about how you can change that in the code. But that's currently what I've got. Which I think is pretty cool. That uh, certainly reduces the noise, and I like the stealth factor, so I can operate. <laughs> yes, I have been watching far too many of someone else's famous YouTube videos. Sorry about that. Uh, I will um, oh yeah, now I'll insert that uh, uh, code snippet thing. Okay, this is the Arduino code. And these are the settings we're referring to. So this one here is the percentage of thro full throttle to fall to. And this is the time it's going to take to fall to this value. And that is in milliseconds. So 1000 milliseconds is one second. And this is the total time. So you can adjust those if you like. And over here, this is what it looks like. This is throttle percent so this is a hundred percent and this is time and this is total time so this would be four thousand and this would be thirty three percent and this would fall on the time of two thousand five hundred that would be an error so we can effectively move this this way or this way or this way by adjusting these factors and if so it looks like this the line something like that if you want a perfectly flat line then put the time halfway in the middle and put the throttle position at 50 percent and that should give you a straight line I mean, if you want you could hold it up and go down like that or you could go steeper whatever you like you can go longer you can go shorter but uh, that's it explained. You can have a play with it, see how you feel. 
Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this one and hopefully you can use engine braking now if you want or don't want. Uh, please subscribe if you liked it. Give us a like if you liked it and if you disliked it, give us a like anyway. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. See you later guys. Bye bye.